Welcome, this is the Bacchus steam pressure machine. What we're going to be explaining is the main components of the Bacchus steam pressure machine. To start off with, here is the Bacchus steam pressure machine. At the top here is the pressure washer. This is a four kilowatt pressure washer, three phase pressure washer, the top part here. The bottom part here is the steam generator. So this is a 32 amp steam generator. Here we have the control panels. Here we have the steam connection. The steam connection is down here. We'll go to the next lot of connections. So here is the water connection for the pressure washer. Here is the dial, the gauge for the pressure washer to tell us what pressure that the pressure washer is at. And this is the adjustment for the pressure washer. So this adjusts the, the amount of pressure that the pressure washer has. So now let's go around the back of the machine and we'll see the connections. Okay, here we have the main switches for the, the system. So here is the 21.6. That is what we'll have the machine set on. This is 32 amps. Next, this is the main on off switch. So we'll turn the machine on here. We'll then connect up the water. So we'll connect on the water. Now we'll put the water on. Now we've turned on the power, connected up the water. The first thing we do is turn on this first switch. So this is the power on switch so we need to turn this on and it comes up with the display. What will happen now is water will pump into the water tank. I'll show you where the water tank is. So the water tank is here. So this is the water tank here. You'll be able to see the water level by the gauge down the bottom here. So this will tell you. So sometimes it'll take two or three minutes to pump water into here, or you can just get a hose and put clean water into here and fill this up. On the opposite side of this is the detergent. So here is the detergent tank. It's a good idea to have water into here, otherwise the machine will have a little beeper that will go. So you can just, don't need to fill this up, but just put half the amount of water into, into here. This will stop the beeper from going. So that's detergent. The blue is for water, yellow is for detergent. Okay, now we've got water going into the machine. It's direct connected up. So we need to, press the button here, the blue water button that has the tap fitting there. Now water is getting pumped in to the water tank. So the machine needs to have three quarters of water in the water tank, which I just showed you around the side, before the machine can start operation. So the next thing that we do after a minute of turning it on is turn on the red switch here. Need to wait probably about two minutes before you turn this switch on. So we've passed that point now so it presses it on and it is flashing. Okay what that means is that we do not have the hose connected up to it. So if this is flashing it means it's not heating, it means that something is wrong so let's turn this off and let's connect up the hose. So now we get the steam hose and the water hose. And let's connect the steam hose first on. Okay, turn it on like so. Nice and tight, you can only go one way in. Now we'll turn this on. And you should hear a big thump and that's the contactor coming on. So that's the main electrical elements coming on now. So that's, turn it off, turn it on. Okay, you'll also see on the gauge here, the temperature. 
that is. So, so it's 27 degrees, 31. It goes up very, very fast, the temperature. This will get to 160 degrees, 165 degrees. Okay. Now we'll take the other hose and we're going to put the other component here into the pressure washer here. So we just fit it in nicely so it's in correctly. And not over tight, but just firm. Okay, nice connection into that. That's it. Perfect. Okay, so that's connected up there. And now we just need to wait a few minutes for the machine to heat up.